We're glad to have you here on the Elkhorn Valley High School Live at Lunch Concert Series podcast, uh, Luton. I guess the first thing we should ask is where would you say that your history in music really began and how has that impacted the mindset that you've had for your career? Well, firstly, I give thanks to be here with you. Thanks for the privilege to be a part of your program today. Yes, Luton Fire, my history begins at home, you know. I was born in a yard with a sound system. At the time, Jamaica was like more in the dancehall era. Yeah. Where um, DJs and artists would be in the dancehall all night singing on the sound system. You know? So that yeah. was the time. That was the time when I was born and I happened to grow up in a yard where a lot of artists always come to you know enhance their talent you know yes I so yeah. that become a part of me you know and when I grew up I um <clears throat> grew up to be a, a part of a cultural background which is Rastafari and then from then we decided we want to do music to share what we gain from learning yeah so so you definitely say it's your your cultural background that that's inspired you to take a, an, an approach into music uh, and really has made you grown into what you are today yes i definitely i would say that all right that's that's great because uh, i know um lots of people take uh, inspiration from their their own cultures and and they're able to put that into music for the whole world to hear and it really helps everybody you know become a part of that same culture and i i think that's great um do you have any musical inspiration in specific that has contributed to your personal sound well, my inspiration uh, come from the dance hall, you know, because that's what I know, you know. So in dance yeah. hall in them time, we used to have all kind of music play. We used to have the American music, we used to have the British music, we used to have Caribbean Calypso, Jamaica, Mento, Rock, Steady, Skia, and also reggae music, you know. And we, as youths in them time, we never used to pick or choose the kind of music to listen. We used to just listen music, even though we are from a reggae country. So really, it's just a combination of everything that you put into your own sound? Yes, sir. That's how it worked for me. All right. Uh, well, speaking of personal sound, uh, how do you think you could describe your own personal sound of music? Just uh, reggae, or do you delve into anything else? Well, my sound vocally, I think with the kind of vocal I have, I can delve in any kind any genre of music and i would want to do any genre genre of music but for me my sound is developed from the reggae naya bingi culture and even um music on a whole you know jamaica have a lot of church music we have yeah. pop music we have kumina music and we love to gather and sing and when i am doing music some of that vibe you know come forward where I have to put out what I feel at the time and at the time I may be feeling poco or kumina you know what I mean yeah that, that's because great that's because like, you're able to express yourself what's your favorite genre of music though reggae well reggae would be my favorite genre but I'm I, I'm a lover of all music you know I like yeah. good melodies and good music you know but reggae music is my thing well, uh, being an artist, you know, you, you don't just perform, you, you make music, uh, you, you write it, you record it, you, you do all of that. Um, what would you say your favorite part of being an artist is and why? The favorite part of being an artist is um, being an artist because this is what I love. So it's not a work for me. It's a, a creative process every time. And that is what I love about doing music. It's allow, it allowed me to bring out a creative part of me, this individual that has never been heard or seen before in each song. That's, that, that's what I love about being an artist. Brings out so really a just expressing yourself. Yes, I. Yeah, definitely. I agree, especially with, um, you know, it being a whole creative process, you gotta, you gotta, you know, think a lot and how you're gonna get your message out there and the best way to do it. I mean, it's music, you know, you can do anything through music. Um, 
people wouldn't get it, you know, but if I sing it, it can be played as a song. Well, in order to make it as a musician, you know, it requires large amounts of patience and, you know, you have to keep pushing, right? You need perseverance. Uh, so how have you managed to keep yourself motivated to keep, uh, to keep yourself moving in a, in a musical direction over the years? Well, um, for me, I grew up in a yard with a lot of yeah. uncle, auntie, brothers, and a sister, cousins, grandma, grandpa. And with that, I become a certain way. I grew up in a, not a crowded family, but a family of about 15 in a small yard. And um, I learned to defend who I am all throughout that time. And this is how I create an individual personality that decide whatever I want to do, I will have to do it for yeah. me. So really it just, it stems from your family and having your own individuality in your family. That That's what pushes you. Yeah, that's a push for me because I always have to do what I have to do all my life. That's great. Um, well, where exactly do you want your musical career to take you and where do you like where do you want to be in the future do you want to be big do you want to just hope to inspire someone what do you want to do the main thing for me is to inspire people because that was the initial goal for being a musician yeah i would want yeah. to live comfortable and relax and as growing older i can defend and have strength to get whatever I want to get done through the work and the effort I, I put out, you know, the result from yeah. my effort should bring me comfort, inspire people. That's the main goal for my music. Yeah, definitely. Cause I know there's a lot of artists out there who they make music for money and they don't really hope to inspire, but I feel as if, if, if you're working to inspire, the rest will just come naturally as a, as sort of like a side effect. and. That's definitely the most important piece, in, in my opinion. But outside of that, how has uh, this pandemic that we're currently in affected you and your musical career? Because a lot of artists out there, they've been struggling with the lack of live performances and that sort of caused a lack of inspiration and uh, all the time off really can have an effect on everyone working. So how have you been able to manage uh, the time off? The, the, the only thing that I, I feel bad about right now throughout this 13, 12, 15 months of pandemic is lack of life performance, you know. But anything or everything otherwise, I'm okay. I'm always in the studio for 20 years. So it's not like I'm 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 I'm, I'm sitting down doing nothing musically. Yeah. I did what I, I do what I always do all all through my musical life. Same in the pandemic. What I do is just follow the guidelines and go home when the time is done. Mm -hmm. Make more music, you know? Yeah, it's important to stay motivated. But um, on top of that, have you, because uh, you said, you know, the lack of live performances has sort of been a struggle. Have you been able to delve your hand into any virtual performances or would you be interested in any? Yes, I would really love to do virtual shows. I did a few since this pandemic. I did one. The end of last year, that was my birthday show. I also did Reggae Jam and Uppsala Reggae Festival in the in the summertime. See, and I, I went to California and Sacramento in October last year to do a live show in a park. And yeah. I I supposed to be doing a, another live show sometime next month, that is in June. In Saint Saint um, Louis. That's that's but great I to really hear. I really would want to experience this live virtual shows to see how people would react to loot and fire. And yeah. Screen. Well, here at El Cajon Valley High School, we put on um, virtual concerts as well as live concerts when appropriate. Um, so I mean, if you're ever interested, we can contact you about getting you on the the, the virtual show and see where that takes us. Maybe one day. Yeah. That'd be cool to, okay. cool to see you no here. Problem. You say you're always in the studio, you know, 20 years now. Uh, do you have right now any upcoming, you know, releases or inside details that you can let us let us all in on? 
what I'm doing now is um, fine-tuning my album to be released sometime this year. Fine-tuning me and I'm doing the final recording vocally, some overdubbing and some rhythm. And then we move to the mixing part. My mixing will be done by Bonsai, that is the master mix and mass mixer in California. Over yeah. five Granite Sammy albums to his name. So we're working towards fine tuning. It's a 13 track album. We don't find a name for it yet. But that's what we're getting together right now. Last question, I guess. Um, if you can give the audience listening right now one piece of advice, uh, really in terms of just life, anything in general, what would you uh, what would you tell them? I would say to my fellow brothers and sisters of the world, respect each other. It's paramount today. See your That's brother great. as your brother, because he is your brother. <laughs> See your sister as your sister, because she is your sister. That's it. And then you can find common ground for you in it, you know? Yeah, kindness, respect, it's, it's one of the most important things you can have. Um, where on social media and online can we find you? Okay, you can find me at Luton for your music. That is IG. You can also find me at um, Anthony Luton Fire Martin. That is Facebook, Twitter. You can find me at Luton Fire One. Yeah, that is Luton Fire Music and IG. And you can also find me Luton Fire Music that's my website and that's where we can go to get my merchandise my t-shirts my spoons my cups my beaded caps and all these kind of things we're excited to hear that you have a new album coming up and hopefully you can see you in some live performances even virtual uh, pretty soon as things start to ease up we're so happy to have you here today and uh, we were very happy to get a good insight on you know your thoughts on music and your career and where you plan on going um any any last thing you want to say to the audience well i want to say thank you for having luton for you today blessing you know of respect 